this is Lego Master P, and this time I'm not doing a showcase, I mean, I'm just entering the hashtag LG underscore contest today. So he asked me to enter his contest, so that's what I'm doing today, and as you can see, I've got three figures. First one is the Flash from the CW Flash, um, so yeah, and then that's a season two outfit, and then next to him is Kylo Ren, obviously from The Force Awakens, and he asked, like, he kind of gave a huge hint that he likes Star Wars figures, so that's why I put him in the, in this showcase. And he's a little bit updated from his last showcase, so he's a little different. And then obviously I got next to him, I got Ant-Man from Captain America Civil War. So now we can just get into the review of these guys. So here's the Flash, or Barry Allen, and so everything you see on this figure is completely painted by me, including the legs, torso, arms, and face, and mask. So we can just get into the legs here, and you can see that I painted all the detail you see there, the like the shoes, um, the like the kneecaps, the airy gold aspect you see, the gold lightning bolts and everything I painted. And then I, on the side you can see he's got some detail there. Nothing on the back of the legs, but he's got some more detail on the side of the legs. So that's um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I think the legs came out really good. And then for the torso. Again, you can see I painted everything you see, and the, I painted the lightning bolt in the middle, his symbol. I think that came out really good, um, considering that that's like my, I had to paint that on white, which is really hard to paint on. Um, but yeah, so, and then all, everything else you see is painted by me. And he's also got like a darker red color in like the chest area, so I had to mix a few paints to get that right color. So I think that came out really good. And all the lightning bolts, like I said. I painted and then for the arms he's got some dark red up top which I painted and the the gold trim around that and so on the other arm it's the same and then for the back of the torso all you can everything you see is painted by me um, so the black line the gold and then the dark red I also painted um, but yeah and then so for the head that's probably my favorite part of this figure um, well let's we can do the, the mask first so the mask was just a regular flash mask, and then I just cut off the lightning bolts on the sides, like my zoom figure, and then I just cut out um, my own lightning bolts from like a, a piece of, like a card, um, and then I just glued those on there, painted it gold, and then did the gold circle around the lightning bolt, and that came out really good. And then I painted the whole thing dark red to match the rest of the um, figure, and that came out really good. And I can, you know, you can see I painted the black detail that goes around up top and all around so yeah and then you can see the black lines continue around the back and yeah so this figure came out really good um, and it, well actually the head under the mask I also painted so he's got the red that wraps around and then I just painted the face you can see there with the mouth and the I didn't paint the eyes but I did paint the eyebrows and the mouth and all the dark red so, and then you just put the mask back on, and he looks really awesome. So that's it for Flash, and we can just get on to the next figure. So here's Kylo Ren, and we can start off with his legs here, and it's just a regular pair of black legs. And But then I did give him the 3D, like, skirt thing, whatever. Because um, if you saw my old showcase of this figure, I painted on the detail, whereas this time I just gave him a 3D um, skirt or whatever. So I think that looks much better, and um, it matches... The rest of the figure um so then for the torso you can see i painted all the detail and he's got some detail there and stuff but i mean if you really want to get a good look at the torso just go look at my old showcase um but yeah so i painted all the detail you see on the torso also and then the arms i paint the gray lines because he has like layers on his um, arms which is kind of weird but um so i painted those gray lines to kind of like symbolize that and um and then for the lightsaber it's pretty much the same as in my old showcase except for i um painted it black instead because i kind of realized it's more of a black color than a gray silver so it's black now and i repainted like the blue wire and the gold and stuff um and then for the back um the the um the cape is just a regular cape that i cut up to make it look worn out like his cape is and so that's pretty much it, but he has an alternate face, so we can get to that right now. So here's Kylo Ren's alternate head, and this it's just like um, the actual helmet, but with no hood. 
So this helmet was completely sculpted by me. Um, I think it came out really good and it looks kind of like beat up and not that great made, but that's kind of on purpose because it was like, I mean, his helmet is pretty um, screwed up because, you know, like just like his lightsaber and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I sculpted the whole helmet and I painted all the black and then of course I painted the face and then I made like the chin or whatever, this part right here um, on the ma on the mask is like comes out of the mask. Um, so I kind of sculpted that separately and then paid, put that on there and then he's got the little dent on the mask right there you can see right there. Um, but yeah, and then I painted, like I said, all the, the face I completely painted silver and then all the, the visor and everything. So, so this um, alternate mask I think came out really good. So I hope you enjoy this figure and we can just get on to the next figure. So here's Ant-Man from Captain America Civil War. And this figure is really detailed, so if you saw my old Ant-Man, all I did was a helmet. Whereas this Ant-Man, I completely painted everything you see. So, for the legs, you can see I painted all those details, the red, the, um, the red on the sides and everything. Just a everything you see I painted. Um, so he's got like the kneecaps and stuff and the shoes. Um, it's just a lot. I'm not going to go through every line and stuff, but you can see I anything you see I completely painted by me. And then on the sides, there's a lot of detail there that I painted um, for the shoes and stuff. And then the back, the back, the back of the legs doesn't look that great, but I did paint it. Um, and then the other side is identical as the other side. Um, but yeah, so the legs are kind of pretty complicated actually. Um, and then for the and then the belt, I also painted there the red line, and then like the silver buckle and stuff. Um, and then for the torso here, you can see it's a lot of detail that I completely painted. And, you know, it's got the red, the gray, the black, and the silver. So, it's a lot of coloring and stuff. Um, so, I painted every detail you see. So, that took quite a long, a long time. Like, this figure took me in total, like, two days to make. Um, and then the back of the torso, you can see, is um, completely painted again. Like, everything else on this figure I painted. Um, but, yeah, so there's a lot of detail, small detail you can see there. Um, so this, like I said, took me a long time, but I think it came out really good. And then the belt, you can see he's got some detail in the belt too. And then for the arms here, you can see I painted the, um, the red, the gray, everything. Um, he's, and then on the hands, you can see he's got like the buttons for, to like shrink and stuff. I painted that on too. Um, but back to the arms, you can see it's like all that detail you can see I painted. And then same on the other arm, it's identical. Um, the silver, the red, the black, and the red. Um, but yeah, so a lot of detailing, um, but the best part of this figure, I think, is the mask. Um, so the mask, uh, it just started off as a regular Ant-Man mask, and then I just cut off the ears, and then I filled in the, the hole, like, for the mouth with green stuff, and then I sculpted the antennas on the sides and everything. So everything you pretty much see that isn't on the original mask, I sculpted and everything. Um, so yeah, and then I painted it all silver and all the detail it needed. And I also kind of sculpted, like, um, a breather on the front of the mask. It's kind of round or whatever. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of sculpting on this mask. A lot of painting, um, gray and red and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this mask came out really good. And then he's got the two antennas up the, the sides, which are really cool. He's also got some detail up top of the mask. He's got the gray... And then on the other side, you can see there some more. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this figure. Well, actually, hold up. He's also got a face, but it's the same as my other Ant-Man face. It's just the like the regular face that came with the original Ant-Man, but I just painted on the beard. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, figure, and we can just conclude this video now. So that's it for my contest entry to the hashtag LG underscore contest. And I hope you guys enjoy this um, video of my three figures, um, Ant-Man, The Flash, and Kylo Ren. So if you did enjoy it, please like the video, comment below telling me what you think of these figures, and if you um, try and make your own using the same techniques. And um, like I said, share the video and subscribe to my channel for more um, like this. And... Oh, I, I forgot to mention, but like I reached 150 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys so much for that. I think I'm at 158 right now, but yeah. So, thank you guys so much for that, and to L, I mean to 
just that Lego guy. Um, and congratulations to you for getting like, I think you're at 50 subscribers now or something like that. So congratulations and I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.